The annual Choose France Summit has been taking place in the regal setting of the Palace of Versailles, just outside Paris. President Emmanuel Macron was front and centre, and which saw some $15 billion worth of foreign investments pledged. Let's talk to our correspondent, Ross Cullen, who joins us now from Paris. And good to see you, Ross. So, uh, a good day for President Macron. Yeah, Juliet, Emmanuel Macron always uses this chance to try to show off uh, France. This summit has been going now seven years, a brainchild of his during his first term uh, in office to try to bring all this investment into the country to show off just how attractive France is to foreign sources uh, of income. And we saw some of those uh, big deals uh, announced. The French finance minister also said that he wants to see France turning from a nation of consumers into a nation of producers, but really a chance for President President Emmanuel Macron to hammer home just how powerful France is in terms of attracting uh, new investment into new technologies such as artificial intelligence and cloud infrastructure, but also those key technologies like energy, agriculture and pharmaceuticals that have been around for a long time. Uh, let's listen in now to a little bit more of what the French leader had to say. It is a fundamental step, but it's only one step because with you, I look at what's next. We are entering a totally different world where the competition will be ferocious. And we can only win with this competition if we have trusted partners, and you are among them. Well, you talk about new investment in new technologies like artificial intelligence and cloud technology. I mean, who are some of the, the big investors? Well, there are a range of well-known names and uh, less well-known brands, uh, Juliet, but $16 billion uh, in total in that investment that's been announced for this summit. Microsoft, uh, just over $4 billion in terms of trying to support the building of cloud infrastructure, expand their operations here in France, try to expand the number of employees as well. Amazon, their U.S. tech rival, uh, more than a billion dollars from them in terms of supporting their AWS or Amazon Web Services. So more focus on cloud infrastructure and artificial intelligence as well. Some of the smaller firms, Estonian data storage firms, Spanish energy companies, to some of the more well-known brands as well, like the pharmaceutical heavyweights, Britain's GSK and Denmark's Novel uh, Nordisk. Now, we also know that there were Chinese firms involved, potentially more investment there coming from uh, China, especially after the recent visit just last week uh, from President Xi Jinping here to see his counterpart, President Emmanuel Macron, and those focus for the Chinese firms is mostly in sectors like battery manufacturing. Julia? All of that sounds good for jobs. Ross Cullen in Paris, thank you very much.